Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about tuple data type. In our previous classes, we discussed about list data type, uh, mutable versus immutable objects. So please follow our playlist from the beginning so that you will have a better understanding of the complete Python language. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, we'll take some examples and understand what's tuple or how to define tuple and what's the difference between list and the tuple. Let's come to the examples. Uh, list. In our last class, when we discussed about list, list is a collection of compound data type. We can we can take a collection of any data type. That is what compound data type means. And it is an ordered. Ordered means the way which we defined a list, the same order will be maintained in the list. When we display the elements, the order in which we define the same order, it will get the output. And changeable, we can change the data in the list. That is what changeable means. And allow duplicates. This is what about list we discussed in our previous classes. So tuple is exactly same as list but the only difference is tuple is unchangeable means immutable. So clear discussion about what's mutable and what's immutable objects was discussed in our previous class. If you don't know what's immutable and mutable objects are, please watch our previous class and come back here. So tuple is an immutable object. Uh, whenever you don't want to change your data, then use tuple. If you want to change your data, then use list. That's the only difference between list and the tuple. Let's take examples in which situations we use tuple. So the example data set data use tuple when data unchanged that is example days in a week if you want to take a tuple like this monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday days in a week are not changed in this situation we use tuple data type if you want to change the data then use list data type now let's check in our uh, python how to implement the tuple how to execute how to access the data and the operators and the methods and functions that uh, related to the tuples so let's take an example t is equal to if you want to define a tuple t in the list list is defined using square brackets tuple is defined using these brackets so, so we use this uh, brackets for uh, defining the tuple 1 comma 2 comma 6 if you want to display it uh, print t so how to access an element in the tuple the same way we used in the list we use square brackets to mention the index value in the list, the elements are given index value. The first element belongs to 0th index, second element belongs to first index, third index and negative indexes are also defined from the, uh, from the end minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. The same way tuple is also having both positive indexes and negative indexes. We can access the elements by using negative indexes or positive indexes. So print uh, t of 0, 0th index value means uh, it will display the number 1. That is the output which we got here. Next one is uh, tuple within a tuple. How to define a tuple within a tuple? List within a list are also defined. Uh, so the same way we can mention the tuples here. 0th zero, zero index value is having an element, uh, second, first position, second position. In the third index position, we mentioned a tuple. In the fourth index position, we mentioned a list. Uh, so we can mention any different data type. So tuple within a tuple, list within a tuple, we can do any modification or any, any way we can define the tuple. So next uh, coming to how to access these elements, print uh, in the third position, this tuple is at third position. In that position, what's the index value? This is 0th index, this is first index. Uh, we want to access the 0th index value. That's why we mentioned T of third third position in the tuple in the tuple we are accessing the 0th element like that we can uh, convert this uh, we can go to any number of levels tuple within a tuple within a tuple like that we can go any number of levels uh, next uh, print uh, in the fourth position we are having a list in that we have to access the first position element uh, so 9 will be displayed here next coming to single value tuple when you want to define a tuple with single value so this is very important we have to mention this comma otherwise it won't consider it as tuple if you want to mention a tuple with a single value we have to mention this comma other way is a t1 is equal to uh, do it in quotations and uh, put the comma then it will take it as a tuple this is how we mention the single value tuples next one is a tuple function we are having a separate tuple function for type conversion 
then so we already discussed uh, if you want to convert uh, a floating point data to integer data point we use int function in the type conversion classes we discussed about it uh, the same way tuple function is used to convert from list to tuple data type uh, so we are taking a list l is equal to 1 to 6 list is converted to tuple so if you want if you display it as a we got it as a tuple data type uh, slicing in the tuple we can access means a part of the tuple can be accessed by using the slicing operator we can mention the starting position and the ending position the ending position is not considered here so 2 to 5 means second position third position and fourth position will be considered fifth position is not considered so that is how we access second position means 0th uh, index first index second index 30 40 50 will be displayed next coming to that uh, next one example so they did not mention the first position they did not mention the second position and the how many this third position elements are uh, how many steps we have to take uh, it, it is taking two steps what's that mean is uh, the first value is displayed we are leaving another one and the second third value is displayed fourth one is left fifth one is displayed like that it will take two steps so that is how we use this uh, slicing operator we can take part of the tuple next coming to we can iterate uh, using in, in on the tuple t is equal to 10 20 30 40 60 we can iterate on the tuple by using a loop called for loop for i and t means uh, it will automatically take the first element second element third element fourth element fifth element sixth element uh, so i is a uh, 10 20 30 40 50 60 next uh, the plus operator the plus operator is used to combine two tuples uh, we used this plus operator in the strings also for combining for concatenating two strings the same way we use this plus operator for com combining two tuples let's take two tuples a b a is equal to 10 comma 20 b is equal to 30 comma 40 c is equal to a plus b means these two tuples will be concatenated uh, so print c means 10 20 30 40 like that's the same way we discussed about star operator a is equal to 10 comma 20 b is equal to a star 2 means it will display the tuple two times if you give it as a star 5 means it will display the tuple for five times uh, so print b means 10 20 10 20 the methods and functions that present in the tuple tuple are len function len function is used to define uh, i get the value of the length of length means number of elements in the tuple so length of a means 1 2 1 1 5 means a uh, total five elements are there that's why the output is five like that we are having a count function count function is used to identify if you if you are given any element how many times this element is present in the tuple we are giving it as one one how many times it's present uh, three times that's why the output is a uh, three value index of one we, on which position we are having the one value if you are having in multiple positions uh, the starting position will be displayed at zero at the position we are having one that's why the output is uh, zero that the index value will be defined uh, will be returned uh, so print a minimum of a minimum means uh, the minimum value in the tuple will be displayed and max means max is a function uh, so it will display the maximum value in the tuple so one is the uh, minimum value five is the maximum value immutability exception uh, so what's this mean is uh, in our last class when we discussed about mutable and immutable objects uh, so immutable objects are not we cannot change the immutable values in the immutable objects but there is an exception here so in the tuple we defined a list list is a mutable object uh, here we have to understand that we are not changing the tuple we are changing the list uh, so it's very important to understand we are changing the list we can change the list we are not changing the tuple so the list will be like that the element will be like that in the this is a mutable object that's why we can change this mutable object uh, see here y is equal to t y is pointing to t a uh, t is also pointing to the same both y and t are pointing to the same tuple value print id of t print id of y both are giving the same memory location both are pointing to the same tuple so now we have modified the tuple modified the tuple it's not modified the tuple the list in the tuple is modified t of 1 in the one uh, in the first index value we are having a list list dot append of 7 we are at, uh, appending a new value to the list print id of t id of y both are pointing to the same position and the memory location has not changed 
so that's very important uh, so here what's that mean is tuple is an immutable object if you change if you modify tuple it will assign a new memory location if it won't change its elements but what we have done here is uh, we are changing the list in the tuple so that's how we change the list in the tuple so these are the concepts which we have to understand on tuples so hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you